I've been CEO of Elisera Therapeutics for about two years. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders of the company. And before Elisera, I've been a, a biotech CEO, uh, an, an entrepreneurial uh, kind, uh, for almost two, uh, 12 years, uh, about 10 years in the field of uh, immune oncology. So Elisera Therapeutics is a cell and gene therapy company focusing on immune oncology. Or more specifically, we're developing armed or enhanced CAR T cells and oncolytic viruses. We have uh, four drug candidates under development, and uh, they are in de different development stages. And we have several of these candidates that has a uh, potential across multiple indications, which means that we can further broaden the pipeline if we choose to in the future. We've also developed a uh, technology platform which we call iTank, which I will talk more about during this presentation, which is a universal CAR T cell enhancement technology platform. So this means that we can offer this platform to any CAR T cell developer, since we believe that this could greatly benefit their uh, fight against, uh, most importantly, solid tumors. Uh, we recently published uh, proof of concept data in uh, one of the world's highest uh, scientific uh, ranked uh, uh, journals, which is uh, Nature Biomedical Engineering, in April 2022, uh, showing uh, proof of concept on the mode of action. We have one ongoing clinical study with an oncolytic virus in nevroendocrine tumors, which is a niche indication. And we also have a fully financed upcoming uh, clinical phase 1-2 study in B-cell lymphoma with our CAR T-cell uh, 301 thanks to a two and a half million euro grant that we received in June from the EIC Accelerator Fund. So this is a picture of our pipeline. As you can see, we have programs in different development stages. The most advanced is ELC-100, as I said, in nevroendocrine tumors. This is an oncolytic virus that is restricted for treatment of nevroendocrine tumors, in contrast to next generation oncolytic virus in ELC-201, which we can apply to treat basically any cancer that we choose to. So what we're currently doing is that we are investigating which indication is most optimal to initially start treating with 201. And uh, next year we're aiming to uh, establish the clinical development plan and also complete the GMP production for this uh, uh, candidate so that we can move as fast as possible into clinical studies. ELC-301 and ELC-401 are our CAR T cells under development. The difference is that 301 uh, treats uh, blood cancer, while 401 treats a range of uh, solid tumors. Initially, we will go for glioblastoma multiforme. And 301 is the one that we have received uh, uh, this grant from the EIC of uh, around 26 million Swedish kroner in June. And uh, earlier this year, we also received 5 million from Vinova uh, for the process development of, of this project. So in total, uh, only in 2022, we received over 30 million Swedish kroner to support the, the clinical development of uh, of 301, which is of course uh, 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 big news and, and uh, important news in, in this day and age when it's difficult to finance these types of projects. And uh, ELC001 uh, or the iTank platform, we use it to arm 201, 301 and 401. But as I said, we can offer this platform to any CAR-T developer to also arm their CAR-T cells. So we are in the field of uh, cell and gene therapy, and this is a market that is expected to reach uh, 28 billion euros by 2026. And there's a very strong interest from Big Pharma in this field. So over 16, uh, sorry, 16 of 20 Big Pharma companies have uh, so far invested in, in cell and gene therapies. And uh, we can also call cell and gene therapies ATMPs, which stands for Advanced Therapy Medicinal Products. And this is a new category of pharmaceuticals that uses human cells and or genes to create new treatments. And the possibilities with these types of treatments are uh, very large. Uh, you can do a lot of things with it. So basically you can correct the patient's DNA, you can treat the disease by adding mRNA, you can add gene-corrected cells, you can instruct the body to kill cancer cells with, for example, NK cells or CAR-T cells like we are doing. You can replace disease cells or tissues, or you can treat or prevent diseases by introducing thalidogenic cells. So there's a lot of different opportunities with uh, ATMPs. And this shows you the ATMP map in Sweden. Uh, so these are all the companies in Sweden that are developing different types of ATMPs. And as you can see, Elisera stands out in that we are the only company that develops uh, two categories of ATMPs. So ATMPs can be subcategorized in three different uh, areas.
And this is since we are developing both oncolytic viruses and CAR T cells. This company is still quite young. We uh, IPO'd the company last year, and uh, uh, I think we're still uh, a so-called unknown company, but we're getting more and more attention since this type of, of treatment is quite unique, uh, even on a global basis, but in Sweden we're alone in developing uh, CAR T cells, for example. So I think you will hear more about Elisera in, in the coming future. So more about CAR T cell therapy. So what is CAR T cell therapy? First, you can say that CAR T cells belong to, uh, the therapy belongs to immune oncology, which is a broad term for treating uh, cancer patients with, uh, with their own immune system. And there are different strategies to do that. And CAR T cells have been shown to be one of the most promising strategies to treat a, a patient with his own immune system. So uh, the reason that this is so promising is that previously untreatable and terminal uh, uh, patients with blood cancer that received CAR T cell therapies were shown that the majority of them could actually, you could eradicate all tumor cells. And ASCO named uh, 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 CAR T cell therapy the advents of the year in 2018, thanks to the amazing results that they have seen in, uh, in blood cancer. Uh, in uh, earlier this year, the older gentleman that you can see here in the picture, this is the, the first patient that received uh, CAR T cell therapy and that at a 10 year follow up, he was still cancer free. He had active CAR T cells in his system and no tumor cells. And in May, we could also see that the first child that was also terminal, didn't have any other treatment alternatives, received CAR T cell therapy and now 10 years later, she's still cancer free. So this shows you the potential of these types of, of treatments. Now, Elisera is, of course, not alone in developing CAR T-cells. There are over 100 different companies developing CAR T-cells throughout the world. Uh, I would say that there is a rough 50-50 split between China and US, where most of the companies are developing CAR T-cells. Uh, there are only 14 companies, as far as we know, in Europe, and only one in Sweden, being Elisera. And even though we, uh, we have seen major successes of these therapies in blood cancer, none have yet been approved in treatment of solid tumors. So there's a still uh, a big opportunity to make a big difference in this field for a company such as Elisera. It's still a quite a young field in, in that sense. And what sets Elisera apart from the other CAR T cell companies is our iTank platform. So the iTank platform gives you the opportunity to, to turn a CAR T cell into a, so to speak, fourth generation CAR T cell. So you can say that CAR T cells have been developed in different generations. So first generation CAR T cells were shown to have an insufficient proliferation, uh, a brief uh, T cell survival, and also an insufficient immune activation. So for that reason, they, uh, they optimized the, the CAR T cells in second, third, and fourth generation. And what differs fourth from the other one is that fourth generation CAR T cells, they contain a gene that codes for a substance that triggers the immune system uh, so that you get a parallel immune response. You get a response by the immune system besides the CAR T cells. And usually this is a, a, a gene that codes for one substance. Usually it's a cytokine called IL-12. And uh, in contrast, what we're doing with the ITEM platform is that we're not coding for a cytokine. We're coding for a protein that comes from Helicobacter pylori, a bacteria. Uh, it's, it's a neutrophil activating protein. So we've written NAP here, short for, for neutrophil activating protein. So what happens when this uh, bacterial derived protein is activated is that the patient's immune system naturally reacts to this uh, bacterial derived uh, factor. And then you get a natural immune response that contains over 20 different cytokines and chemokines in contrast to only one. So we believe that this gives you a more broad and more effective immune, re immune response against cancer. We can also mention that uh, still the majority of CAR T cells under development belong to the second generation, as much as 70%, and only 16% belong to fourth generation. And we believe that most of these are, belonging, uh, are being developed in academia. We know very few companies that are developing uh, fourth generation CAR T cells the same way Elisera does. So without going into uh, uh, too much details on how the iTank platform works, you, you can read about that more on our website and also in the publication, of course. I can just mention that the reason that CAR T cells work very good in blood cancer, but not in solid tumors, is that in blood cancer, we have very good targets for the CAR T cells. Uh, a good target means that the tumor cells, basically all of them carry the target that the CAR T cell is directed against. 
So this is the situation in blood cancer, meaning that a CAR T cell can basically eradicate all the tumor cells if you have blood cancer. But if you have solid tumors, that is a very heterogeneous situation, meaning that the tumor cells, some of them carry the target, some of them don't carry the target. So if a, if a tumor cell don't carry the target that the CAR T cell is directed against, of course these tumor cells won't be killed, and you will have uh, uh, CAR T cell resistant tumors that can't be treated with a CAR T cell therapy. This is one of the major issues in, in treatment of solid tumors with these therapies. Another major issue is that a solid tumor has a very hostile tumor microenvironment that pushes away the, the, the CAR T cells, you can say. It's difficult for them to penetrate, and when they come to the hostile tumor microenvironment, they become exhausted, weak, and they can't have a big effect. So what the iTank platform does, one, it activates the patient's immune system naturally, so you activate the patient's t own T cells against a whole set of different relevant targets. So you get an attack from the, the CAR T cell on the target that it is after, but then you get multiple other T cells that direct it against other targets. So it's a broader attack. And another thing that, uh, that this immune activation that uh, the NAP transgene creates is that it uh, creates an, uh, uh, a pro-inflammatory environment that directly counteracts the immunosuppressive microenvironment in solid tumors. And the mode of action was, uh, was published in, in Nature Biomedical Engineering in April uh, this year. This is, of course, a, a big milestone and a very important news for a company such as Elisera, since we place a lot of emphasis on the iTank platform. And ultimately, of course, we also want to outlicense this on a, on a, uh, on a non-exclusive basis to several other companies that develop uh, CAR T cells. So this gives us proof of concept of what I've been talking about here, and, and of course, more details. But what we can show in this publication is the unique mode of action that we can create a parallel, multi-targeted attack on cancer cells, that we can combat the immunosuppressive tumor microenvironment and create an immunologically hot tumor, which is what you want to do if you're working with immune oncology, and also that we can make the CAR T cells stronger. Uh, this can be uh, applied to arm any CAR T cell, and uh, we don't add any uh, toxicity to, to this. Thank you very much. Uh, I was wondering, can you elaborate a bit about the IP? around your platform? Yes. So this platform is uh, it's quite uh, broad in the sense that we can actually use it to also arm other cells than, than CAR T cells. We can arm oncolytic viruses like we've done with 201. But the IP that we have around the iTank platform, it's specifically directed against uh, CAR T cells. So basically we're protecting using the NAP transgene in a CAR T cell. So in the situation with uh, our next generation oncolytic virus, where we have actually armed it with the iTank platform also, uh, there we need to create a, a specific IP protection around that specific um, uh, product. But, but the, uh, the patent that we have around the iTank platform is more general and more directed generally towards CAR T cells. Uh, thank you for an interesting presentation. Um, do you see any risks of uh, overacting the uh, overactivating the uh, immune system by having such a broad set of genes being act uh, cytokines being activated. That that's always a risk, and uh, it's actually one of the the biggest also issues with CAR T cells in general, that you get a lot of side effects. Um, I can mention that in the blood cancer case, we're using a target that uh, uh, that is CD20, not CD19. And this means that you get less risk for, for CNS damage, uh, nerve system damage, which is one of the major issues with uh, currently approved CD19 CAR T cells. But uh, to, to also uh, address your question specifically with the iTank platform, this uh, could be an issue. We haven't seen it in preclinical studies, so it seems to be very safe. But to be on the safe side, when we conduct our first, uh, uh, first demand study now with the iTank platform, we're going to start with a low dose, and then we're going to uh, increase it step by step to make sure that we don't do more harm than good uh, with this. But we are not expecting any added toxicity thanks to the, the NAP transgene. So I was wondering, there's a lot of things going on in the company. How would you say, how's your financial status right now? As of June, it's, it's quite good, I would say. So this grant that we, we uh, were approved from the EIC Accelerator Fund makes it possible for us to extend our, our runway up until at least mid-2024. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier in, in the presentation, we only 2022 we received over 30 million in, in soft funding. And we completed successfully a, a capital raise last year. 
So we have cash that, that allows us to continue running our, our programs full speed ahead, at least until mid-2024. So we, we don't foresee any capital raise in, in the near future. Okay. And are you looking for partnerships? Yes, we are. So the, the strategy with the, the programs that I mentioned, the four programs, is to find a licensing partner after having completed clinical phase one, two studies. So we want to build value by, by showing that it, it works in humans and then then uh, try to find a partner that, that can continue development. But for the iTank platform, it, it is fully developed. We, we have a, a strong IP protection. We have a, a nice publication in Nature by Medical Engineering that, that gives proof of concept for this. And as I said, we address some of the problems that, uh, or I would say we address problems that all of the CAR-T companies are facing in treatment of solid tumors. And we believe that we can help them with this. So uh, th this, this should be possible to, to out-license on a non-exclusive basis uh, to, to multiple partners. That's our ambition. Okay. So just to sum it up with the last question, would you say that iTank is a game changer within this field that you're working in? Yeah, it, it could be. As I said, there are over 100 companies that are developing CAR T-cells and they are doing it in, in different ways. Uh, different targets, some are arming them to you know, make them less exhaustive and, and so on, but, but actually triggering a parallel immune response the way we are doing to tackle the, the problem with, with antigen heterogeneity in solid tumors and the immunosuppressive micro environment. This is, is two issues that all of them are facing and, and there are not that many companies that can offer solutions to this problem. So, so that, that's what we believe that we can do. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.